The movie begins by introducing us to Amanda, a central character who is feeling increasingly burdened by the pressures and routine of her everyday life. Her days are filled with the constant demands of work, family, and social interactions, leaving her feeling drained and craving for a change. In an effort to escape the monotony and stress, Amanda is struck by a sudden idea to take her family on an unplanned vacation, a break from their usual life. Soon after, Amanda presents this spontaneous plan to her husband, Clay, who works as a university professor. Clay is taken aback by this unexpected proposal. He is surprised not only by the suddenness of the idea, but also by the extent of Amanda's planning. She has thoughtfully and efficiently taken care of all the necessary arrangements for their getaway, from booking accommodations to organizing the travel details. This level of preparation leaves Clay with little room to object, despite the abruptness of the plan. As the family embarks on this unplanned vacation, there is an air of excitement mixed with the unknown. What appears to be a simple decision to break away from their daily routine sets the stage for a series of events that will drastically alter their lives. The family heads to their vacation destination, a rented house in Long Island. Along with Amanda and Clay, we meet their children, Rose and Archie, who are typical siblings, often disagreeing with each other and absorbed in their tech devices. The family explores the luxurious mansion they rented and Clay curiously attempts to open a shelf, only to be stopped by Amanda, who insists it's off-limits. Later, Amanda leaves to buy groceries, where she observes a man stocking up on water and basic supplies, an action that seems slightly out of the ordinary. Upon returning, she presents Clay with a pack of cigarettes, acknowledging his habit of sneaking cigarettes. She even allows him 15 minutes to enjoy a smoke break hinting at the little freedoms they indulge in during their vacation. However, their serene getaway starts showing signs of peculiarity. At the beach, the family discovers they have no cell phone service. Rose spots an oil tanker in the distance, but her observation is dismissed by the others. As time passes, the tanker appears to be getting closer, raising concern. Eventually, the situation escalates and Amanda, alarmed, wakes Clay up. In a state of panic, they hurriedly pack to leave, but their departure is halted when the boat washes ashore. Returning to their rented home, they discover that both their television and Wi-Fi are not working. This lack of connectivity adds to the growing sense of isolation and unease they are experiencing. The tension escalates later that night when George and his daughter Ruth unexpectedly arrive at the house. Initially, there's hesitation from Amanda and Clay, with Amanda suspicious of their sudden appearance. George, trying to explain to Amanda that he's the owner of the house, and the person she had been corresponding with for the bookings, struggles to gain their trust. After some deliberation, Clay invites them in, and George explains that a citywide blackout prompted their visit to Long Island. Amanda remains wary of the situation and even attempts to contact the rental company after George offers a 50% refund for the inconvenience. George indicates that he and Ruth will sleep in the basement, asserting their right to stay in their own home. Ruth confidently reinforces this claim reminding Amanda and her family that they are, in fact, guests. Intriguingly, George possesses the keys to the shelf that Clay had previously attempted to open, suggesting he knows more about the house than he initially let on. Later, Amanda and Clay have a private discussion. Amanda expresses her discomfort with the situation, but Clay rationalizes that staying in the house, given the city's blackout and uncertain conditions, might be their safest option. He persuades her to let George and Ruth stay the night. Down in the basement, George and Ruth settle in. Ruth turns on the TV, and they are confronted with news of a national emergency. This revelation deepens the mystery surrounding the blackout and the strange occurrences they have been experiencing. The next morning, Amanda checks her phone and finds several emails referencing the power outage, suggesting hackers might be responsible for the widespread blackout on the United States coast. But as she wakes Clay to discuss these developments, they realize the emails have mysteriously disappeared. The scene then cuts to a scene showing a satellite that had gone off course earlier, hinting at a larger, possibly global crisis. Soon after, Rose, frustrated with the malfunctioning TV, steps outside, only to encounter a herd of deer, a moment that underscores the strange occurrences surrounding them. Meanwhile, Clay, driven by a need for answers, decides to head into town. Back at the house, a conversation unfolds between Ruth and Amanda, when George joins them, Amanda shares about the mysterious emails she received and their sudden disappearance. The conversation takes a worrisome turn when they realize that Ruth's mother is supposed to return to Long Island by plane that morning, heightening their anxiety due to the inability to contact her and advise against the flight. 
given the current unsettling circumstances. Seeking information, George ventures to his neighbor's house. Simultaneously, Clay's drive into town is marked by a sense of disorientation, as he finds the radio station scrambled and unintelligible. Upon reaching his neighbor's house, George is confronted with a shocking scene. The house is in ruins, adding to the mounting sense of dread. Meanwhile, Rose shares her morning encounter with Archie, who seems more interested in taking pictures of Ruth by the pool than in what Rose has to say. Driven by curiosity, Rose ventures into the woods, with Archie reluctantly following her. Clay's journey takes an unexpected turn when he is stopped by a Spanish-speaking woman in distress. Unable to understand her, Clay leaves the woman behind, a decision reflecting his own confusion and helplessness. Elsewhere, George's search for answers leads him to a horrific discovery in his neighbor's backyard, bodies lying on the ground, suggesting a catastrophe. The tension escalates as Archie and Rose explore a creepy-looking area, their sense of adventure giving way to fear. Meanwhile, Clay encounters a drone dispersing brochures, and despite his attempts to escape, the drone catches up with him, leaving him visibly shaken. George's harrowing experiences continue as he sees not only the aftermath of plane crashes into the ocean, but also witnesses a plane crashing on the beach. In a panic, he runs for safety. His earlier quest for answer is now overshadowed by the immediate danger. The suspense continues to build as Archie and Rose explore a nearby shed. During this exploration, Archie is bitten by an insect, adding to the growing unease. Rose, while with Archie, spots a deer again but Archie, distracted, fails to notice it. When the deer runs off, Rose sees a house in the distance and expresses a desire to investigate. However, Archie insists that they need to return to their own rental house, sensing potential danger and venturing further. Meanwhile, George returns from his own exploration with chilling news. He shares a disturbing experience related to his line of work, speculating that a satellite might have gone off course, leading to the widespread communication blackout. He also reveals to Amanda the horrifying sight of a plane crashing into the ocean, which significantly heightens their fear and sense of impending doom. As the night progresses, distant explosions are heard, causing alarm among the group. Amanda, suddenly remembering her children are out in the woods, rushes out in panic to find them. Simultaneously, Archie and Rose are overwhelmed by a piercing shrill noise that forces them to cover their ears. Upon reuniting with her children, Amanda returns to the house, where her anxiety and fear manifest in increasingly disturbed and rude behavior. George urges calm, emphasizing the need to wait for Clay's return, hoping he will have more information. However, tensions rise as Ruth confronts Amanda, leading to a heated exchange which George intervenes to prevent from escalating further. Amanda later shares with Clay a memory of a man she saw at the supermarket stocking up on basic supplies, as if anticipating the crisis. George confirms that he knows the man she is referring to. Eventually, Clay returns, but with little information to offer. He explains that he got lost and is unsure how he managed to find his way back. Clay then shows the group a leaflet he received from a drone, written in Arabic which Archie translates as death to America. This revelation instills further fear and uncertainty in the group, leading them to make the drastic decision to draw to the city, despite the unknown dangers that may await them. George attempts to dissuade them, knowing the risks, but his daughter insists on letting them go. The tension escalates as Amanda and her family decide to leave George's property, driven by a desperate need to connect with others and understand what is happening. Amanda clings to the hope of encountering traffic on the highway, where they might interact with other people and gather more information. However, their journey takes a turn for the worse when they find the highway congested and in chaos, with self-driving cars crashing into one another in a scene of utter disarray. Realizing the gravity of the situation, Amanda urges Clay to get back in the car, taking over the steering wheel as they navigate through the crisis. Unexpectedly, their attempt to leave is short-lived. George opens his door to find Amanda and her family standing on his property having returned from their failed attempt to reach the city. That night, George confides in Amanda, hinting at the possibility of a government conspiracy being behind the unsettling events. Despite the current vibe, the two of them share a dance, growing closer emotionally, yet they both refrain from betraying their respective spouses. Later, George opens up to Amanda about missing his wife, revealing his vulnerability. Meanwhile, Ruth and Clay share a moment where Ruth asks Clay to vape with her, and poses provocative questions about his relationships with his students, leaving Clay speechless and uncomfortable. After a while, the eerie noise that has been haunting them reoccurs, 
plunging the house into darkness as the lights go out. In the basement, a tense conversation unfolds between Ruth and George. Ruth accuses Clay of making advances toward her and questions George's decision to let Amanda's family stay with them again. The next day starts with a distressing development. Rose has vanished. Adding to the sense of panic, Amanda discovers that Archie's teeth are falling out, a bizarre and alarming symptom that heightens their fear. Seeking help, George suggests they turn to someone he knows who is always well prepared for emergencies, the same man Amanda saw at the supermarket, stockpiling supplies. Trusting George's judgment, they take Archie to this man, named Danny, in hopes of finding medication for him. At Danny's place, there is a tense standoff, but eventually, Danny agrees to assist them in exchange for payment, underscoring the desperation and opportunism prevailing in these chaotic times. While they are in the car, George admits to Clay that he has some understanding of the unfolding events. He reveals his belief that a political coup d'etat is underway, suggesting that those in power are intentionally fostering a civil war by disrupting technology and spreading false information. This revelation adds a layer of conspiracy and intrigue to the already tense narrative. Meanwhile, Amanda, while searching for Rose, ends up saving Ruth from an unexpected and dangerous encounter with a herd of deer. This frightening experience is soon followed by a shocking sight. They witness New York City being bombed, confirming the severity of the crisis they are facing. In a surprising twist, the story reveals that Rose has found refuge in a neighboring house equipped with a doomsday bunker. The bunker is fully stocked with supplies and equipment to survive a catastrophic event, including an emergency alert system interceptor. The interceptor broadcasts that the United States is under attack and at war, a revelation that adds to the film's atmosphere of imminent danger and uncertainty. The movie ends on this ambiguous note, leaving us in suspense and uncertainty about the characters' fates and the broader implications of the war and chaos engulfing them.